Industry 4.0, the Industrial Internet of Things, and Artificial Intelligence are some of the many looming technological breakthroughs on the horizon set to change the manufacturing world as we know it. For those working in fields where physical automation has yet to marry digitization, the change could be significant. There is a critical need for automation right now, and it's really due to several different reasons. What really happened during the pandemic is people started to order goods, and they were getting those goods in, in a day or less. It takes a lot of people to do that, and there's a lot of different people within the chain of that process. So if you have a shortage of labor and you need to get goods to a person quickly, then you need to find ways to, to automate that. Pre-pandemic, we had more work than people available to do that work. Getting laborers, getting people in there was very difficult and we really needed to automate to make sure that goods are getting to people in a timely fashion. The critical need for manufacturing automation is primarily health and safety of people working in the manufacturing environment. Automation gives us the ability to create an insulative barrier between the operator or the person working in that environment and the hazardous materials, the repetitive actions, and the dangerous motions of the manufacturing equipment that you often find on the shop floor. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the need for automation across several different industries. First was relative to the PPE needs for the world. Obviously, there was a, an increased demand for masks, surgical gowns, as well as eyewear. And automation played a huge part in being able to manufacture millions and millions of those devices and distribute them across the world. Secondly was the mandate that we had to be socially distanced from each other. So automation helps play a part in that as well, spreading out the people, making sure we have safe distances with everyone. If automation can take the load off of humans and safely streamline processes, digitization can streamline and create efficiency that might not have been easily gleaned otherwise. So digitization is really the, the sensorizing and the electronic connectivity of the manufacturing equipment or the operational technology found on the shop floor. And what that allows us to do is to pull data from the process and the manufacturing environment as well as the product to help to optimize that manufacturing workflow and to give our customers flexibility over their processes and the products they produce. Automation is our core business, but digital will help us make it stronger. What we're doing is connecting the operational activities such as sales, purchasing, engineering, and supply chain to the plant floor. Bringing that data to the customer in a real-time fashion that they can make decisions on the fly to best optimize their business. Things like predictive maintenance. Nowadays, our automation solutions are made with electrical and mechanical components. Those components over their life will eventually fail. And unfortunately, as the things work out, things tend to fail at the most inopportune time. But with some of our digital solution technologies, we can actually predict and monitor when certain aspects of the automation solution will begin to fail and those mechanical and electric components will begin to fail. So that we can take proactive measures with your maintenance facility or engineering teams, one, to get those parts ordered quickly so they're on the shelf, and two, to schedule that downtime so that we can make the repair so that it doesn't happen at the most inopportune time in your cycle. The physical manufacturing world and the cyber world can be optimized to work together. As a leader in the space, JR Automation specializes in integrating digital solutions with their advanced automation systems to fully complete the entire manufacturing value chain. JR Automation is uniquely positioned to be a, a life cycle supplier. When we think about the context of Hitachi, Hitachi calls it social innovation. And what Hitachi expresses is being with that customer from beginning to end. From the concept, to building of the solution, to servicing that solution, maintaining that solution, ultimately finding ourselves in a position where we're recommending to the customer that next step in their solution. So the culture at JR is a little different from the other people that do our automation type work. Every single company that comes to us is looking for us to be inventive, to find new ways to process their product, to find more efficient ways to, to do that. At that point, you're an inventor. Every piece of automation that we create 
is an invention. We don't build the same automation over and over again. Unlike a product company that you're making a product and you make it over and over and you get more efficient at it, we need to get in efficient at inventing. And, and really, we've developed some tools that help our engineers to become better, more efficient inventors. As the need for automation grows, the need for digitization will grow with it. JR is planning for the future through a focus on maintaining a learning environment within our organization, as well as building relationships with our customers. We work with our teams to keep an open mind, to keep a continuous state of evolution on all of our standardized processes and procedures. Our product is our people, our teams, and the processes that they follow to solve the customer's needs. And by keeping an open mind and not getting stagnant in those processes, we keep ourselves open to continuing to evolve and stay on the leading edge and, and keeping up with technology to bring our customers the best solutions possible for their product and manufacturing needs. Visit jrautomation.com to learn more.